Now let's see how we can work around with the gradient option inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So here I already have a picture and if I were to go around onto the gradient tool, then what I can do is I can click and drag around to make a gradient. If I were to click and drag, you can see that a gradient is added in right here. And depending on the gradient type you select right here, you can see that the gradient is uh, blue to white. You can press Ctrl Z, you don't see anything right now. But if I were to go around and select other gradients like this, you can click and drag around and that gradient will be added in. Right now, the, uh, no, the gradient is radial and you can see that that is being selected right here. If I were to select out, let's say, linear gradient, then if I were to click and drag, you'll see it in the same form as you see right here. Depending on the angle that you draw your gradient in, what happens is that the angle of the gradient changes right here. Let me just press Ctrl Z two times right here. So I can go around for angular gradient over here as well by clicking and dragging it right here. You can go for reflected gradient as well. So the effect that you see is repeated two times. You can also see that there is diamond gradient right here. Click and drag and there you go. There is the diamond right there. Let me just press Ctrl Z right here. You can, you can also go around and work around with the opacity of the gradient so that you do have a see-through and you can work around with the mode of the gradient as well. Let's say for example, you can go around for uh, lighten mode right here and then similarly the darker part will be transparent while the brighter part will be opaque. Let me just go around and press Ctrl uh, Z right here to go back and then in the mode I'm going to go around over here on to multiply. If I were to click and drag then you can see that now the darker parts are opaque while the brighter parts are transparent and the effect is applied accordingly. Let me just press Ctrl Z again. So what you can also do is you can edit out the gradients and to do that you can click on the edit button right here and then what you can do is you can go around over here and choose a gradient of your choice just like this and uh, you can adjust it to your liking. For example, over here in the front, you can see there's the color that you have chosen. So you can go around, choose another color of your choice. You can click over here anywhere to add in another color and change around the location of the color as well, according to how you want. And you can adjust the sharpness of the color by using the diamond right here, just like this, as you can see. You can go around over here and using the diamond, as you click on this, you can see you can control the sharpness of the colors as well. So over here on the top, you can work around with the opacity. So you can click around over here and change around the opacity of a certain section of the gradient as well. And then work around with the diamond right here, just like this. As you click on it, there, there's the diamond, as you can see, and you can work around with it according to how you want. So once that is done, you can go around over here and then press OK right here, or you can add it to preset as well so that it is there for uh, future references just like this. And you can rename it to however you want as well and add it to preset as well. And I may just go around and press OK and the gradient is there. Let me work around with the opacity, click and drag, and there you go. The custom gradient that we made is here now. So that is how you can work around with the gradient draw tool inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.